Hello. All right. Now, if we look at this, again, you guys can see that this is a cylinder. It has a circular base, and that base has been extended to be the same as the top. Again, the way that we like to go and look at this, Layla, is to put it facing with its base on the bottom. So it's probably going to look something like this. All right. Now, we did say that the radius is 3 and the height is 7. So again, what we talked about is, the, remember, when we're dealing with prisms, the base is the same as the height. Or I'm sorry, the base is the same as the top. So whenever I can find the area of the base, I can multiply by, by 2. So to find the surface area equals 2 times the area of the base. Now previously, the area of the base was either a rectangle or a triangle, which you guys have a lot of you know, for familiarity with. And circle, you should by now as well, but let's just kind of go over it again, pi r squared. Plus, now we need to find the area that is wrapped around the cylinder, which we talked about is the same as the height times the circumference, where c represents the circumference of the circle times the height. So I'm going to write that in there. Circumference is 2 times the diameter times the height. All right. Now let's plug in what we know. 2 times pi. Do we know what r is? It's 3 squared plus. If r, is the, or if r is 3, then the diameter is 6. six. <laughs> Plus 2 times 6. And the height is? Height? Seven. 7. So now we just take our lovely handy dandy calculadora. And oh, that one's bad. What square? That's what's wrapped around the cylinder. OK? Then, so that seven, 6 times 7 is 42, which is 84, plus 9, 18. So 18 times pi is 56.55, if I round to the hundredth. And 56 plus 84, I don't want to add that in my head, is 140.55. Is the surface area, let's call this in feet, so therefore it'll be feet squared. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Booyah! I'll tell you what.